Hello and welcome to the K5 Championship Season 3. We are in the new late model stock for this season. And we are going to be, of course, on a variety of short tracks. But here tonight it is linear. So we are going to get started in a bit of a new format. This is pretty interesting. That's why I started a little bit earlier here to kind of explain what's going on. So in about five seconds here, we're going to be sorted into one of these heats randomly with a random starting spot. Uh, we could be heat one, we could be heat the end of the session. two, three, etc. Uh, it looks like we're heat two and we are starting seventh. Are you kidding me? All right, at least we're on the inside. <laughs> that could have been worse. Oh my gosh, Justin's in here. I didn't even see that. I'm going to say hello. Uh, yeah, the same heat as Justin. That's awesome. He's been taking a break, so it's uh, good to see him. So that's fun. We got obviously lots of really uh, fast people. Oh my gosh, we also got Nick in our group and uh, Shane as well. So it's going to be tough. What we are going to be trying to do luck, is finish in the top two. So if we finish in the top two, we immediately go to the feature. Yeah, good luck. And if not, I believe there is a, an alphabet soup type deal where uh, you can work your way up. If you've uh, watched anybody of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, starting pretty much last. That's pretty crazy. Um, so we're going to take a look. We're going to watch Heat 1. Um, of course, I will be time stamping everything. So if you want to skip ahead certain parts, feel free to do so. I don't blame you for wanting to skip my uh, dumb commentary, because I obviously have no experience doing that. But we've got Tracy on the pole. He's going to be very tough to beat. He's a very strong short track driver. I actually just noticed for some reason that stopped up. That's been causing me troubles lately. But we got Tracy with his 6.3k I rating and uh, short track prowess. So he's going to be really tough to beat, especially from the starting position. We have Dante, who did really well in the recent 87 Legends at Talladega, the Talladega shootout. Cabe is going to be very strong, too, though. He could contend for the win. Gavin Rothchan, of course. Got a great YouTube channel as well. And Ryan Thompson, don't count him out either. So he's got some passing to do. I think Zachary Nelson might have missed, uh, missed the start or something. He's on pit road. But uh, we are off and running. It is a 12-lap race, so quite quick, actually. Um, so, especially for those people near the back, they got a lot of stuff to get done. Dante almost getting to the back of James. They're racing close. Those two guys up front, they have to know that uh, they are both going to make it to the future at this rate, so... Um, you would hope... Cave wouldn't like dump him or anything trying to uh, get the win I'm sure uh, yeah oh my gosh he really did get into him I didn't think that was gonna actually happen oh no oh no <laughs> yeah, very tough heat. The yellow flag is out. Sorry right. again, Tracy. Like yeah, I you can for, like, you can see really right here. Off. Obviously, it's going to be a of course it was on it. unforgiving format. Um, you got to make a top two, or else you got to make it through all the all the stuff there. So we got a caution there. We'll go back and look replay so it kind of starts yeah, off good, dude, but we have the spots i know i would just wanted to see kind of just try something and it i just got into i knew that we were in i just i don't know i was like fucking idiot yeah he just gets into the back of him just no reason to even be pushing that hard code, but 
No. If you don't go for a gap or whatever that thing is. And then that gets everybody bunched up on top of each other. They're three wide. You got people going below the apron. And uh, everything's just still was kind of unsorted. Came looking up the middle. And then the 08 just kind of gets loose. Off the top, that's Dante. And uh, right into Tracy. He's the only one that goes backwards, though, I think. So everything kind of got figured out. But Tracy and Cave had a very uh, solid, almost guaranteed top two. And now Cave's up in first. Tracy might have damage. He's going to have to make his way back up front. I'm sure he's not too pleased about that. Something I'd like to... Oh, wow, we got a move to the apron. That's pretty aggressive, but, you know, he wants that top two positioning. We got James up there doing a very nice job. He's, he's where he needs to be right now. He's going to just do everything he can to protect it, I imagine, going into the final lap here. Is the end going to make a desperation move? I think Tracy's got damage, because I would expect him to be faster. But nothing doing. That's tough. Tracy can't be happy about that. And then, of course, these cars got Formula One brakes. Still, sorry, Tracy. I still feel bad. I like I did. Yeah, he did screw him, kind of. <laughs> but he didn't mean to do it, I guess. Um, so those making it through directly to the feature are Cape and James. Very well done. So we are in heat number two, along with Nick, Justin, Alex, Shane, Rob, I also recognize, and a couple other names that I've seen a couple times, but I don't know them as well, but good luck to everybody. Hopefully we'll have ourselves a clean race. Something I do want to mention real quick, I did get a setup from Daniel, Daniel Shell, and I appreciate that. He was very kind and sent one to me. So thank you so much to him. It's a very, very nice setup. He's been doing a great job for me uh, in practice. Uh, we are going to have to make some passes, and we only have 12 laps to do it. I'm not going to run anyone over, or at least I'm going to try not to. Um, I'm going to take it somewhat easy. Just try to get below him. You know, run that bottom line. Uh, we at least do have the bottom line to start with. Uh, well, we'll see what we can do. I am going to have to cut when I change my setup from, you know, the heat to if I end up in the B-Main, for example, or something. Um, I will have to cut because I don't want to share Daniel's setup. He didn't specifically say don't show it, but uh, he didn't say feel free to sh <laughs> share it with the world either. So I'm going to be careful and uh, maybe cut the recording while I switch it just so... Uh, his secrets aren't out. Great start. The outside was not going so much. Up on the outside. Shane following him through. All right, we are doing good. We are. Oh gosh, you kind of got in our right rear there. We're okay though. We're alive. We are in P2. That's where we need to be. That could not have gone better, I don't think. So make sure I got my volume up so I can hear things. We got lots of room. I am feeling very good. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna learn from what I saw earlier. I'm not gonna run into the back of Shane or anything. I'm going to be content sitting in second. Because that's all we need to make it to the feature. And then we don't have to worry about uh, making our way through any of the mains. So starting inside was an absolute godsend there. Shout out to Justin. He also made his way forward. He's a P3. 
That is pretty fantastic. He's going to want to catch me, though. Unfortunately, i got to do my best to keep him out, but um, I wish him luck as well. If he catches me, uh, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I don't think I could catch Shane even if I wanted to, to be honest. I'm not going necessarily 100%, but I'm going like a solid 96. And uh, not feeling like I really have it for him, so even if I was, was pushing really hard, I'm not sure if it would do me any good. We got some people on pit road, must have had trouble, unless... Oh wait, they're not on pit road, we're just catching them. Any advice on how to loosen the default setup? I don't know anything about that, otherwise I would be helpful. That's why I'm very grateful to Daniel for sharing. He certainly didn't have to do that. I am absolutely un uninformed about anything having to do with... Uh, oh, Shane going tight right there. Not going to run into him. We are great sp in a great spot. Feeling good. Good win, Chain. Nice one, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. Here's the flag. It's over. I couldn't hear him. Good job. Very uh -oh. good I'm job. Colton, let me know. I picked you, my buddy, uh, Nick, who's behind you. Okay. What did he say? All right. I didn't hear what he said. I got to turn my volume up, I think. I want to hear what people are saying. Just do that a couple more. I didn't hear Shane at all there. But uh, we do make it to the feature. Great stuff. The is 100. The air temp is 90 Fahrenheit. How did everyone finish? We got Nick in fourth. Follow the pace car in the outside column. Yeah, Nick's got to make it through. <laughs> you beat Nick, so that's pretty cool. Anytime you do that, it's got to feel good when you can beat the league host. So. It was getting fast. I was so nervous. Here we go. Be ready. All right. So let's, uh, sorry, so much stuff going on at once. What we got? Next, uh. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm terrible at this, see? <laughs> this is why I tell people they should skip. <laughs> Alright, so Gavin... Definitely should be... Oh no... Oh, we were scrolled. Yeah, uh, it's not a very long race, and uh, being on the inside right there. So, we got Spencer in this uh, heat out front. And there's the pace car, in case you were wondering what that's up to. Pace truck, in fact. We got a battle for second, though, as... Who was that? Jim gets into the wall and is doing some Blinko. The Price is Right's best game, Blinko. Mitch is going to definitely want to get in there, though. It looks super tough. Of course, we start. Oh, of course. <laughs> My easy. <ego. laughs> oh, man. Oh, 
I'll be rooting for Gavin. Mitch is going for the pass here, but he ooh, comes up a little bit. I think maybe the 58 was a little bit off the wall. We got guys really using the apron. Mitch, like, going all the way down there. These uh, new late model stocks have crazy amounts of grip. So Mitch wanting to take advantage of that. Take the shortest way around the track. Look at Spencer out there, though, just wiping the floor of everybody. He's a full, I don't know how many seconds ahead. Kicking some booty, though. <laughs> He's a full two and a half seconds on a short track. That's pretty significant. Scott trying to give get something for uh, Mitch here on the final lap, but he's got to maybe make <laughs> take advantage of a mistake. Mitch got a little bit loose there, but I don't think it's going to be enough unless he makes another one. Mitch looking like he's sliding around, but he is able to hold him off. So that's Mitch and Spencer making their way to the feature. Things are moving right along. These are really quick. So we've got heat number four coming up. John Lewis on the pole. And Chris Minmark, who was your champion of season two in the GT4s. He's going to be starting fourth. And a couple names I, I don't recognize. It's great that we have... Uh, some new people as well. We didn't quite fill the lobby. We had 40-something people, I think. Names that I recognize, but just don't know them as well. But also names that uh, I don't remember seeing, so... Good stuff, good stuff. Oh no! Is that someone that's in this race? It is! Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Right when it's time for his race, too. What a bummer. I hate that for him. Hopefully that it'll still allow him to uh, participate in the mains later. Give him a chance still, at least. So he was P3, I guess? It's looking like that's where there's a, an opening. Or no, he was... Uh, who else didn't join up? Somebody else didn't join up. Paul. Not sure where he ended up. He's not even in here. Interesting. Maybe he uh, dropped out as well at some point? I'm not seeing it. Weird. <laughs> yeah, Kenny is a, a good friend of Nick's, and it sounds like he uh, got the luck of the draw and is starting dead last <laughs> in his heat. It's all pure randomness, but at least that's what Nick says, right? Maybe he's putting some of the fast guys in the back for entertainment value. <laughs> Not really, though. We know it's uh, random. So we are going to have this heat, and then I think Gavin's in the last heat coming up next, and that will uh, be one to watch as well. Bit of a stack up on the outside lane there. Got a little bit scary for a moment. They are almost three wide up there for a second. We got moves. We got blinking cars. This is looking like a really competitive one. 37 going a little bit wide out there. Really want that inside if you can get it. Right now it's looking like this 10. Getting in there. Three wide, no room. And the 37 goes around. That was your pole sitter. Unfortunately just fell off a little bit there and then I don't, I don't even know how they ended up three wide. I didn't really catch how that developed. So 37 just kind of goes out a bit wide. 44 and the 20 both going in there. Bit aggressive, I'd say, on the 44's part. But the 37 left a ton of room also. And there's not much time here, so you can kind of see why it would happen. The 37 probably wasn't anticipating two people to fit below him. But that's uh, how that all ended up. So cautions do not count. Caution laps. So it's some very... Uh... Oh, that's cool of Nick. Uh, Help that guy back around. 
I don't know if he's going to be on the lead lap again, but at least it's given him a chance after he accidentally disconnected because of internet. Which I hope doesn't happen to me. My internet's been a little bit weird lately. You can see his internet's still struggling. So there he goes, Chase, trying to catch up. I think he might be... Not sure if he's on the same lap or not. I think he's still a lap down. But uh, if they get another caution, probably help him out. And then as you can see, single file restarts as well. That's going to be the same, same rule set throughout the event. The 81 goes quite high there. He might just be playing it safe, but he might be playing it a little too safe. He's risking losing his P2. As the 10 is going to sneak below him in that faster lane. Very nice looking car there. It's simple, the black and white, but with the blue number. I kind of like that. So the 81 has second laned himself out of the feature. Maybe that's the lane he likes, I don't know, but it's not really working too well for him. Guys are just kind of driving on by him on the low side. Maybe there's something wrong with his car, I don't remember seeing him run into anything. But right now it's Kenneth and Chris in the feature. Chris driving away right now, making an impression. Showing that uh, he's good on road and on oval. Couple of great cars fighting for this P2. Right now, Kenneth's got the advantage, but Chris is going to try to catch up to him here. We are on lap 9, heading to lap 10 with 3 to go. Will Christopher be able to reel him in at all? Will Kenneth make any mistakes? Behind him, they've got a little bit of room. They're looking to be holding it quite even. Coming to the white flag. And Christopher's just got to hope for a mistake. I don't think it's going to happen. So there you are, your two advancers. Kenneth and Chris. Good stuff. All right, so final heat coming up, and it's a good one. We've got Gavin in here. We've got Kenny starting P last. You know he's going to want to move forward. He doesn't get a 7.1K I rating by accident. Daniel, you know he's running a good setup. Assuming he runs his own setups. Air temp is 99. The air temp is 91. I bet he can make a, make a run for it himself. And Chad up there is pretty strong as well, and he gets the coveted pole position. Follow the pace car in the outside column. So should be plenty to see in this one. And you'll notice it's a little blocked here by my race labs, but the mains, the top two finishers in the mains, will also move on to the next main. So they don't go directly to the feature, but they will go to the next main up. So you could theoretically have someone go from the E main to the D to the C to the B, all the way up to the main event. So you're never out of it. It's not over till it's over. Even if you ran into trouble early on. Thankfully, we don't have to contend with that. We made it straight to the feature with our Green second flag. place Green finish. The guy, oh, a little bit of a checkup on the outside in there. Kenny actually got into the back of him. I hope that didn't bring him any engine damage. You can see he wrinkled up his nose. That's not what he wanted, I'm sure. And oh no, huge wreck. Out. Already on lap one. That was my bad. Oh no, I think. Okay, must have been the 31 getting in the back of somebody. He gave an apology. Ooh, that was maybe some net code. That looked net Cody. See if we can get a good angle on that. 
Tough to say. Doesn't look like he's quite there. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. We'll try to get it. See if he actually made contact or if the internet decided it was happening. Oh, he got him. Just enough. I don't know if he really did hit him all that hard, but it was enough for it to say, you're sideways now. And then and there was just everybody all stacked up still, including Gavin. That's some horrible luck. But he's not out of it yet. Even if that was a really hard hit to the nose, that is very unfortunate. He's back going, though. Green flag, green flag. And uh, he's got a long way to go. They are three wide up here already. Gavin going the low side. Gonna do everything he can. Ooh. Oh man, these guys are not having a good time. They're running into each other a lot. But they're keeping it straight. We're watching Gavin. Everyone's tripping over everybody. So it must have been the 31 again. Um, running in the back, he got black flagged. Is he on the track still? Yeah, so he's on the track still, but uh, he is no longer going to be counted. Oh, man. 16 not holding his line. Coming up into Daniel. This is uh, some gloves off fist fighting. And this, this uh, heat. Only halfway through it, too. Uh, just finishing up lap six. So trying to see Chad way out front. He's feeling good about where he is, especially with everybody running into each other still. But P2 is still way up in the air. We've got three guys hunting down Bryce here. Trying to get that golden ticket to the feature. Alan looks, but not quite ready to dive it in down there. Oh, he tries a cut down, but the 46, that's Kenny, said, I'm there. I think Alan wanted to do a cut down, and now Daniel into the back of him. He's holding on. He keeps it straight, but I'm thinking he probably wishes he didn't, because if he got the caution, he would have been able to catch back up. But very honorable of him not to be like, oops, couldn't hold on to it. Kenny's got two laps to go and one person to pass. He's going to try the second lane. That's fascinating. He's trying to get it done on the outside. And it's looking like it's working. So he's going to do it the hard way. But them two fighting side by side is allowing Gavin to get caught up. They're together. Gavin's going to make it through. Oh my god, what a finish. Bryce, in a last-ditch effort, tries to get into Kenny to loosen him up and try to get to the feature, but all that did wow. was open the door for Gavin. Wow, what a finish. Then he tried hooking you right there. Oh my goodness, that was... That was something. That's all I gotta say about that one. Wow, okay, so we got Kenny down there in the E main. Why is Kenny in the E main? He, did he finish last? I don't know if, uh, oh, yeah, wow, wow, wow. That is very unfortunate. We're going to go back and look at that because... Ten minutes. You'll need to get on with this. The track time hmm. is one. Sorry, I'm look, looking at the right thing. Top two transfer will remove people if needed. I don't know if Bryce necessarily did that on purpose. Looks like he was just given everything he had. We'll take a look at it again. I don't know, man. He just 
kind of comes up. And then Kenny. Oh, man. Trying to get it going. Kind of comes down. This has been messy. I got to be honest with you. This has been very messy. But they're still in it. Everybody's still in it. We've got five cars here in the E main looking to climb their way back up the ladder. Next uh, next stop is the D main. Okay, Top two will get there. Go, green flag, go green flag. The lineup here is looking weird. I don't know why they're halfway single five. It's interesting. I don't know what that was about, but, uh, well, oh, was this, did we have someone blinking really bad? Huh. So is that going to make it, take it low right there? Going to get to the inside and get the pass done on Chase. It was the 31 here. Okay, I don't want to confuse the chases. <laughs> I believe it was this chase that uh, disconnected. This chase is the one that got the black flag for uh, running into someone twice. Yeah, but everyone's looking pretty it's spread out right now. Really damning right to Walking Kenny, trying to get his way in. I hope he does. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, Kenny's gonna be a good contender for someone that climbs. That one. He been in, but yeah, right. Climbs all the way up the ladder. He's obviously very fast and was set to make it straight to the feature, if not for that last corner incident. Zach's not quite up to him, but he doesn't need to be. He's P2 right now. And comfortably so. Chase giving chase if you will but uh, he's gonna need a mistake I think this one here only 10 laps we've taken two laps off of it and it looks like each main gets just a little bit longer but very spread out here it looks like I think we're uh, finding where everybody's speed is interesting interesting yeah, now we got you. I just noticed there was a green thing wasn't moving when I hit the button. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that wasn't me earlier. Really. Yeah, we couldn't hear you. I was worried it was me earlier. Really. Oh, well, probably for the best. So, Kenny gets the win, Zach gets second. And then for uh, the rest of the field there, unfortunately, that will be the end of their night. So, whether it be bad luck, Getting them to the E main, or just not quite the pace. They uh, are going to be headed home. On to the D main. Who we have here? We have Ryan Thompson up front. We have Dante, um, Kenny, and Zach, of course. Right on to the end of the field after making their way to the next main. And Kevin, I don't remember seeing which heat was he in. He was in heat three. He's usually pretty fast too, so he'll be one to watch as well. There must have been a lot to see in the heat that he was in. <laughs> Making sure I'm not missing anything from Nick. Top two until B main move up. Top eight from B. Okay, that's interesting. So once we get to the B main, as you can see right here, um, you'll have eight move to the feature rather than just the top two. So very cool format. I like how this works. Uh, it's not just about qualifying. You have to actually have some race craft as well and uh, be able to race around others and keep it clean and uh, make your way to the feature. So I'm liking how this is working. You know, if you're going to be someone wrecking people out, you're going to get the black flags and you're going to, you know, maybe take yourself out running into people. So you've got to be clean and fast, I think, to make it to the feature in this, and uh, I think that's a good call. Hopefully that's how it works out. Anyone else heart rate high? This is great fun. Yeah, this, this is quite fun. It's very uh, Saturday night short track. Good stuff. What time is it even in sim? I don't think it's nighttime in the sim. 
5, 5 p.m. Hey, but maybe by the time we actually get to the future, it'll be nighttime. But plenty of fast guys in this race. Of course, again, we'll be keeping an eye on Kenny, see if he can make his way up. He's got a couple more laps to do it this time. Green flag, green flag. And we are under green. Green flag going. We have technically three wide. Kenny way down there. Oh, 326, maybe cutting down a little bit, maybe not realizing Kenny was going to be down there. Kenny's having some bad luck with guys uh, kind of getting into him a little bit. But you see he's on the move. He's already gotten himself into fourth position, just coming to the end of lap three. Up front, we've got Ryan, followed by Kevin. And Dante on the pursuit. The yellow flag is out. Oh, we've got a yellow. Something happened in the back. It is Jeff. What happened to him? So coming out of four on lap three, it looks like the 19 of Brandon gets into the wall. He checks up for him and the 37 not quite ready. Tries to get to the left, but does not quite get around. So just an unfortunate uh, little stack up there. Ends up with Jeff backwards and into the wall. That's exactly what Kenny wanted to see, I think. Um, Kenny and Dante, perhaps. They're going to be able to reel in those leaders a little bit, and they'll be right on their tail once more. It'll be single file. So no worries about inside or outside lane. Ryan's on the move, and we're back green. The race is a bit longer this time, but your time is still short. Already coming to 10 to go. Kenny again looking on the outside. Looking to make that work. Perhaps thinking he's not got time to wait for a, a door to open. He's got to build his own door on the other side of the building, so to speak. <laughs> and he has the speed to get it done, but it does take a while. And I imagine he's got to be wearing those tires, too. You can see everybody's got a lot of grip in the car. This late model stock's got a lot of it. You can see the tire tracks almost contact there as they're racing tight. Kenny's already going for P2 with Ryan on the outside. Ryan losing grasp of his his chance to make it to the next main. Going a bit wide there. Blinking a bit, perhaps. And he finds himself at P4 now. He did not want to see that caution. Zach does not want to be counted out yet. He's got five laps to do it, and he's trying to make his way around Dante to hopefully catch up to those first two. But it's going to be quite the task. He doesn't have time to wait, and certainly doesn't, as he sends the 08 around. That's unfortunate there. I don't know if that really should have sent him around like that. It seemed like a light enough tap. But, of course, what we see and what actually happened might have been different things altogether. To me, it looked like he got him at kind of the right point in the track. I guess maybe you, know, you got a lot of uh, wheel in it at that point. I'm sure he wasn't trying to send him around, maybe just try to unsaddle him to get around him because you don't have much time to waste, but the uh, late model stock there kind of reacting like an ARCA car. The way you get into the back of those cars and they just go right around. So I don't think that was what anybody wanted right there, anybody intended. But we'll go back live. Dante, unfortunately, we'll find him all the way back here after being P3 before. We're going to be going green, and I believe we're going to be flag. immediately white flag. Is that what's happening? Ryan going to the outside or doing a crossover? Not sure, but this is the final lap. It's a one-lap shootout. 
Zach desperately wants to get in but cannot reach the bumper. Oh, it's 15 laps. That's right. Sorry, I got confused. They uh, had 12 laps earlier. We got those extra laps to work with. I told you I'm not good at this commentary stuff. <laughs> so, Zach's got... Had a little bit more time, and now we're coming to the white flag for real this time. And you can see he's giving it all. He's getting loose on exit. Car's not wanting to give him much more, though. Running out of steam. So it's looking to me like we will have Kenny climbing the next rung of the ladder and Kevin following him through. And unfortunately for Zach, Ryan, Dennis Bruce, Pace Car, John, and I think Dante. Dante was around here somewhere. <laughs> unfortunately, that'll be the end for him. So, uh, as predicted, Ke uh, Kenny is going to be making his way through. He's going to be a tough one to deny. And we will be going on to the C main. Can't wait to get past by Kitty in the B main. <laughs> he's going to be tough to beat, but he's got a long way to go, too. Five extra laps. We are going when the pace truck drops in, right? But it'll be starting P12 on the outside. I, I thought it was going green. green. Stretch in. Okay, okay, well, I'm glad I got my ass so I don't get a black flag. Is it going green? I actually didn't uh, see that if that was uh, a rule. Mm hmm. I might have to go read the manual, <laughs> make sure I'm getting all the rules correctly. Lots to keep track of. It's our first race, of course, of this season with these different rules. So I'm just going to take a peek on the Discord here, make sure I've got everything remembered and figured out. Should be a pinned message. Yes, okay. In the meantime, they are off and rolling. We've got a 20 lap event here in the C main. This is the last main before the B main where eight people will move on. And then it'll be the feature where we have already solidified a spot, thankfully. So even with the long feature race, the feature race will be much longer than these shorter heat races and such. The mains and the heats. The B mains and such. All right, Colton, be ready. So we we'll have to remember there will be no tire changes. So it's going to be a whole different kind of racing. Kevin got a much better start right there, but didn't really have anywhere to go. And that was horrible net code. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what hit Kenny. That was weird. That sends him around. Yeah, that was terrible net code. You cannot blame that on anybody. And that was Kenny that got hit too. That was bad. Yeah, that was huge net code. Hmm. Hopefully no one got too serious of damage from that. Kevin took a bit of a ride. That's unfortunate. You never like to see that. Six backs it under the wall. Kind of hard. But it doesn't look like he has severe damage or anything. Yeah. The ghost's trying to stop Kenny. I'm not seeing anything on the Discord talking about when to go. Usually I assume fall or no other otherwise specified rules it's just go when the leader wishes I'm not sure what just happened there it's all like a tire lockup but we're off Jeff Kendrick isn't he the guy that does uh, OSR old school racing forums that I get all my setups from I think it I think he might be shout out to him <laughs> 
If not, if that's not him, ignore me, I'm dumb. But, <laughs> oh my goodness, blinking. So up front here, we got Daniel holding on to P1 with Nick King right behind him, but getting loose right there. They're both getting quite loose, it looks like. Looks like they've got their hands full. But uh, hopefully they can just keep it there because they are currently moving on to the next main. But uh, Alex wants something to say about that. He's pretty quick in his own right, and he's going to give himself a chance. Nick into the wall a tiny bit. Doesn't seem to slow him down, however. What we got going on back here? A bit of a gap back to Matthew. Side-by-side -side racing there. And Kenny doing his best, trying to be on his way. But uh, that early setback is not going to help him out. And blinking cars aren't going to help him out either. Going to go for a crossover here, and it looks like he will get enough of a run to get the nose. And move his way past a blinking vehicle. Meanwhile, up in P2, it looks like uh, Alex might be reeling him in a little bit. You can see he's exiting the corner maybe a bit lower. I'm definitely seeing less sliding out of Alex. That could be a factor in how much grip he has later in this run. Don't count him out just yet. We are only halfway through this one. Behind him, it's still Matthew with a bit of a gap. Kenny's got a long way to go, but he is now catching Matthew for fourth. Can he continue his run through the mains? Right now, finishing up lap 12 into lap 13. Eight laps to go. Alex has lost a little bit of ground. It looks like, but not much. Nick into the wall again. He's got to be careful. You know, he's doing everything he can to hold on to that spot. Kenny needs to caution right here. Yeah, Kenny really needs a caution. That's a long gap he's got right there. Uh, from all that time, he's had to spend passing people, but he's very fast. He could, he could definitely make up that time. We'll see what his last lap here is and compare it to some of the faster guys up front or, you know, the people higher up. So we got 13, 8, 6, 2. These guys are all running in the 14s. He's a good two tenths faster than some of them. Two tenths, but he's got about five laps to go. Less than that, in fact. Four to go. Is it going to be enough? He's not only got to get up there, but he's got to pass Alex and Nick. He just might not have enough time. Daniel, though, doing a great job up there, holding it steady. Nick's gotten to the wall a couple of times, but no major mistakes. He's been able to keep it in P2. Kenny's not going to want to waste any time here. He's going to try his darndest to get around Alex. And it looks like Alex is going to let it happen. I think that might have been a play, but uh, dang. Kenny's just not going to have enough time. He runs that Sorry, final lap about a tenth five. faster than P2, but it's going to be Nick man. King and Daniel making it through. Last Kenny. Kenny put on a great show. Come on, let's drive, Kenny. Let's Just drive. wasn't quite enough. That was fun. Thanks, Nick. Everybody, putting it on. Good fun. Yeah, very well done by Kenny. He definitely showed his speed, but uh, didn't quite have the time. And it just didn't really work out for him there. But we've got a, a packed B main here ready to go. Daniel and Nick making their way in from the C main. And then we've got Nick and P7 and Justin starting on the outside front row. 
Justin put on a great run early on, getting a P3 in our heat, finishing ahead of Nick. It's going to be a tough battle, though. You got some really fast guys like Scott, over 5,000. I rating, you've got Tracy in here, over 6,000. Nick, of course, league host. Very fast racer in his own right. But also, you all, all you've got to do is get a top eight in this one. So that's important to remember for everybody. All you got to do, finish top half of this field. Guys like Daniel and Nick back here are going to have to make some passes. But they don't have to go win it either. It'll be really interesting to see uh, how risky some guys take it. How much they're willing to put in into this 25 lap event. Oh my goodness, the ace slams on the brakes. I'm not sure what that was about. But we've got three wide up ahead. A couple guys of different entry speeds, I think, kind of tripping over each other a little bit. Tracy carving his way through wherever he can find space. And right now, your cutoff spot is Justin. He is in P8, so he's falling back a little bit, but he's still in a feature spot. Just trying to get that turn on the exit of the corners. Ellen's on his inside, though, looking to get around. I'm sorry about that. I just didn't check up enough. Just can't quite get to the inside. Of course, he's got the train going around him. Just can't find an opening. It's a helpless feeling on these short tracks. And nobody's ever going to let you in. Because everybody wants that low side. Daniel had, has broken steering from something. Oh, that sucks. It looks like he's out of it. So, I think we had something happen in the back. Ian is out front here, catching some lap traffic. Followed by Scott. And Tracy in third. And then we've got a huge cluster right here. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh or so. Oh my gosh, these cars on pit road. So, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. All these guys, just a huge cluster. And of all these guys, one of them is not going to make it. Right now, it's Devin and P9. He just needs to pass one of these guys to make it into the show. But he does have time to do it. Still just on lap 10 right now of 25 laps. Behind him, they've got a little bit of a gap. But only a little one. Especially if these guys get battling, it could close up quick. You can see these guys are gridlocked, pretty much. Side by side, two by two. And the 20 is going to turn the 16. Both of them in transfer spots, but he gets in the back of them. We'll see a replay of that one. Looks like he just has some more speed on exit right there, and maybe the 16 gets a little bit loose, loses that momentum, and the 20 is not able to check up for him. Sends him around. Brandon maybe gets damaged. We got a couple people caught up into the accident, including Devin and Nick King. Looks like Justin will make it pass after falling back a little bit. We'll see where uh, scoring puts everybody after that accident. It's looking like Devin's having trouble just getting it turned around again, trying to find space. Oh, it's the wall, green getting flag, it going. Oh, we are still replay, that is right. <laughs> Oops. But we're under green again. And of course, bunches the field up. So we've still got Ian out here up front. 
Nick safely within transfer spot at the moment. Allen in your last spot. P8 right now, I believe. Is that correct? Is that P7? Oh, we got Frank as a lap car. That's what's going on here. Okay, so that's why the car numbers are not matching up. So your transfer spot is actually right here with Dylan. So who do we have chasing him down? We've got side-by-side -side Bryce and Nick King. Nick King getting very loose. I almost feel like these guys got to make a truce and decide, okay, go single file until we can battle for this transfer spot because otherwise it's meaningless. But hard to communicate that well in the car. Who's? Okay, that was Daniel on pit road. Justin back there, hoping for a chance. Top 8's looking pretty solid right now, so long as still he doesn't get it too sideways. We'll watch Nick King see if he can hold on to it. He's giving it his all, you can tell. Trying to catch up. But he's got a long way to go. And a lap car to get around before he can get to Dylan as well. And who knows what kind of damage these guys got after that bit of a stack up in that crash earlier. That could be affecting the handling or the speed on the car in a number of ways. But we're coming down to the end of this thing. We've got ourselves four laps to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. No, just kidding. Devin gets around him. Is he going to be able to reel him in at all? It's an awfully long way to go with not very much time to do it. So unless someone makes a mistake up here, or someone makes a mistake for someone else, I think this is your solid top eight. We got Allen maybe going for a spot. This does improve your starting position in the feature, I believe, so it's not completely worthless, but you do have to be very careful if you're going for spots here. Because you could go from trying to get an extra starting position in the feature to not being in the feature at all. But it's looking like that'll do it. I believe that was Ian crossing the line. P1, Tracy, Scott, Nick, Brandon, Alan, Christopher, and Dylan will be your top eight moving to the feature. Tired. So we've got a warm up. I'm going to actually stop recording for a minute. So that way I can switch the setups without spilling all of Daniel's secrets. Yeah, great to see Justin here. So uh, he gets himself a top 10 in the B main. Not a bad race at all, especially having not raced for a while. Thank you. And then taking a look, we will be starting P7. I like it inside, but we've got 150 laps, so. 150 laps and no tires to change. So we're going to take it easy, and uh, I will be right back with a new setup and a drink of water, probably. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, we are back, and we are headed into the feature. 150 laps. We've got plenty of fuel. We'll give a good luck. Like all right. Get all our session last lap up. That's what we're gonna want, and we're gonna have to be easy on the on the tires. 150 laps on the same set, and uh, as you saw in the previous races, lots of rubber being dropped down. Lots of rubber coming off of the of the car. 
So we want to try to minimize that. Keep the rubber attached to the wheel. <laughs> in the outside column. And it's also going to be crucial to keep from running into anybody. Now here's something I noticed about the late model stock. And maybe I am just a dunderhead. But like... Where's the tachometer? Or whatever. The speedometer is what I call it. Because I think that's like the civilian way to say it <laughs> but uh i see my go, water temps i see my oil right temps and i know i sit up close to the dash but i also like looked around earlier and i didn't see it am i blind like i don't <laughs> where is it <laughs> i don't know i've been putting the dash up so i know when to shift Get ready. Going i don't know let me focus on uh, the leader though cave up there okay ready us off Okay, we got blinking already. That's not my favorite. Okay, we got it. Take it kind of easy. Guy ahead. Taking it easy, so we're going to try to do somewhat of the same. not necessary. Mitch is going to really cut off our nose. Slam on the brakes so I don't run into him. That's really dangerous for lap three. But, okay, that's fine. I'm just stuck right now behind Chad up there. But we're not in a hurry, so that's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. We, we are really waiting for him here. Really? Why are we three wide right now? I don't know if these guys realize we're not racing 12 laps anymore. Gavin's got the nose on Chad, though, so finally we might be able to get around. Just trying to take a good angle on the corner. Be smart about how I'm using my tires. Gavin hits the wall a bit there, maybe. Grateful that we are now single file. We do just want to log some laps if possible. I don't really just want to let Tracy by. I'm just riding right now, but I don't want to just lose a bunch of track position either. I don't know, it's a tough spot because he's being very aggressive. But fine, you can take it. Let's go. Long ways to go here. I'm more concerned about taking care of the tires right now than anything. We'll, oh, we'll go through the open door. Tracy's gonna make one for us. That's fine. Let Gavin in. Very curious how this car is going to feel after 100 laps. I've not gotten anywhere close to that amount of laps done so far. James comes off the wall a little bit there. That was a little scary. We'll give him extra room, make sure that we're being safe. 
you get around him. I think he backed off there, so I appreciate him for taking it cautious. Got a little bit loose on exit there. Got lots of rotation, so we're gonna have to watch out for that in case this car is gonna want to get loose later. P8 right now. Of course, K5 championship. It's not all about winning every race. Sometimes it's just about being consistent. So even if I don't go up and win this thing, top eight and making it to the feature in the first place, it's a pretty good day at the racetrack. So I won't complain. I'm not gonna do anything dumb to wreck myself or anybody else while I'm here. Got space behind, I like that. Maybe we back it down even just a little bit more. So much time to go. Always the possibility for a caution at some point. Let the other guy set up passes. Or we'll just sneak on through while, uh, while the doors are open, maybe. Alright, good stuff. Thank you, Gavin. Finds a way to let us on through. Car's still feeling pretty much the same right now. Feeling balanced. Still very early, of course. Little loose on exit there. Just trying to avoid any sort of sliding. Trying to avoid driving in too hard. Oh, Gavin, yeah, maybe in the wall. Hard to tell if that's actually happening or if it's just prediction code. All right, Spencer up there, P5. Actually, we're going to be going around him, it looks like. He might have had a loose moment. And we'll go ahead and get around him. I had to counter steer a little bit there. Maybe this thing's gonna get loose. Maybe I should be uh, careful on throttle on exit. That's where I should be saving tires and how I should be doing it. Gavin sideways. That looks scary. Oh wow! He looks like he's had a, he's got a handful right now. He's still going fast though. I'm not feeling like I have to check up too much for him or anything. I'm still just in uh, ride mode. 150 laps will go by quick at a short track like this, but it's still a lot of time. And on his bumper, we'll be pressuring him. We'll see if uh, he makes a mistake. Maybe he leaves the bottom open at some point. He's taking a wider entry, it looks like. Almost entering that second lane, that's very interesting. I wonder if he's dealing with some serious loose conditions. And that's maybe how he's uh, fighting that off. I'm not sure.
right on his tail. Don't want to get in the back of it all. That's for sure. Ooh, that was loose. Okay. Letting it cool down a little bit. Oh my gosh, wow, this thing's getting really loose all of a sudden. Okay. Cold tires, cool them down. Cool down those tires. Pushing just a little bit much, I think. Let them cool down. Don't let Chris catch me, though. He's on my, uh, he's coming right up on my rear bumper. Maybe don't let him by. I'll take a couple laps here. Stop sliding around. Stop being so aggressive. All right, well, we've got a caution anyway. So that'll help us get tires cooled. I don't know why I could have done this with that. We'll make sure we catch up. Nick, Nick likes to uh, shorten these cautions, so. Where did Gavin go? Don't want to run into him. Is he going to the pits? Or is he just cooling his tires off? Okay. I kind of want to cool my tires off, go to a lesser used part of the track. But there's also marbles up there I don't really want to get all over my tires. So I think I'll run this, like, right over this line. That'll be a good place, I think. Two to green, we're going to be coming to one to green, I think. Gavin's going way up there. I mean, I guess the marbles are... Wow, look at all the marbles. They're everywhere. You can see those little specks on the track. Everywhere. Especially, like, on exit. But, uh... We'll get bunched up, ready to do a... Restart. The pace car is off. Be ready. Couldn't see him, so I just kind of went low. I'm only lapping about it. What does that mean? That's not an issue. Okay, kind of feels like the tires have pulled off now that we've had some laps. Who's up there doing that? Is that Mitch, I think? Yikes. That didn't look fun. That's got to be bad for his car. Or is that Shay? And I can't tell. They have similar cars. I think that was Mitch that got all sideways. He's going to be on the outside. We're definitely going to try to take advantage of that. It's not always an easy opportunity getting to the inside on Mitch. So if we can get up there and get by him, that is a good opportunity we want to take advantage of. Cave on the inside down there. Okay, we're making moves. We're doing crazy stuff. Letting Gavin get it done. Alright. Keeping it moving. Okay, might have gotten a little bit wide there. We didn't get a contact, but I felt something on my right rear. Side by side for the lead up there. We're still only a third of the way through this race, don't forget. So now that we're single file again, might be worth it not to overdrive this thing. Track position is going to be important, but... I don't know if I need to force anything necessarily right now. I'm trying to play it smart. The yellow flag. Alright. That was some net code. Yeah, I think I turned it around myself. Get it bunched up. 57 net coded into your, your bumper as you're returning. Pete Road is now open. Making sure we get caught up. Lane speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Going Gavin up top in the corner is where the track is cooler.
Yeah, look at all those marbles down below right here. All that stuff. It's kind of hard to avoid them, I guess. Just debris everywhere. I'm not trying to pass Gavin by going low. I just want to see the leader. And I'm not too concerned about protecting outside. Get ready. Going green. Hide car is off. Green flag. Green flag. Is Gavin making a move? No? So far so good, we're in P5. Kind of been following Gavin for a while. Haven't felt like I've had any huge moments sliding around. So, taking care of the tires for the most part. Being a little bit more gentle on exit on the throttle. Using a little more brake than I even think I need to on entry. Just a couple of things that might help out in the long run. I'm li at least I'm hoping so. It's looking like Shane's having some rear tire issues. He got sideways there. And every time you slide, it's just going to get worse. Oh, man. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, my God. That was like out of nowhere. Take advantage of that while we can. But I want to go back to uh, saving soon if I can. You're in fourth position. It'll be interesting to see maybe Nick is doing an ultra tire saving strategy, like using the back, taking it easy, waiting for a late caution. Where he's gonna blow by us? Not sure what we'll see. Those couple of really loose moments I had though definitely have me a little concerned. It got very snappy on exit a couple of times. And like I was saying, the more you slide it around, the worse it's gonna get. So I want to minimize that. That means getting on the throttle a little easier. Use that brake. I gotta stop smashing the throttle. Do I have a bad habit doing that? Logging some laps, not quite halfway, but getting closer to about that mark. Keeping up with Gavin. Not so much catching up, but just kind of maintaining the right pace. Hoping this car holds together. Will be very interesting to see everybody's tire wear at the end of this one. Hoping that everybody will share. I imagine they will. Just if, uh, just because it could be interesting. If nothing else. Next week, I think, is Oxford Plains. Which is going to be very interesting driving on that circle. Well, we got a race already, though. Pay attention to. Can't be thinking ahead. Yeah, maybe getting a little bit of apron there. Could we be catching up? Oh, he's getting sideways. It looks like that snap loose almost that we've felt. And seen some other guys have as well.
We're getting up on his bumper. A little bit wide there for me. Keep that a little bit lower, I think. Ooh, he had a bad quarter. I think he's gonna let us by. Ooh, interesting. He might be cooling his tires off. Had a little extra wheel in there, so it got a little bit, a uh, little bit slidey. So we'll see what we got. Gavin might be fighting some handling right now. I'm feeling okay. You're still getting a little bit of that looseness on exit, but otherwise, car is sticking well enough for me to be happy. Just trying to keep it rotating center, have a straight enough exit. Get around Dylan here. No trouble. Found a good place to catch him. Tracy up in the lead. Mitch P2. And we are following in third. Cars may be getting a little tight. Or maybe I'm just overdriving it. Could be one of the two, or maybe both. Usually the driving it overdriving it leads to the tightness. So that wouldn't be too surprising. <laughs> Can we catch Mitch? We saw you at that moment earlier. That couldn't have been good for his tires. But he's uh, he's going to be a hard one to beat. That's good consistency. Keep it up. He could be backing off right now. Looking to make a run on Tracy later. Hoping to save some tires up. I could be killing my tires right now. Usually I say, oh yeah, I'm going to not kill my tires, I'm going to be good to them, and then I find out later I was being horrible to them the entire time. Almost overcorrected myself into the wall there. I don't know if you noticed that, but we can pretend it didn't happen. Mitch is pitching it into the corner. He's fighting loose conditions, it looks like. Oh, man. We, uh, we've got to get around James here, who's unfortunately kind of holding the bottom. The driver in front of us is Janowski. So that'll get us some time. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. He's holding us really tight for some reason. Instead of going high. We're going to continue being a little bit softer on the throttle on exit. In case this thing starts trying to turn on us. I'm just trying to keep it low on exit. I think that's going to pay off for us. He will get the nose on Mitch, he's just going to let us go. He sees that we've got a little bit more speed right now, maybe. Got to get it moving, though. Can't make him regret that decision by being a dump truck in front of him. I don't know if we got anything for Tracy though. He's way up there. I think we're really gaining by keeping it low on exit. I think that's really paying off for us. <laughs> Yeah, people yeah, saying they're getting. <laughs> yeah, people saying they're getting some undrivable conditions. That's pretty scary. We could see another caution come out here yeah, if someone loses control. control. I think I'm gonna call it there, so I don't call the cops. So they're getting loose. So I'm feeling pretty good about being careful on throttle right now. Feeling like that's the play. Drive in hard, easy on the throttle on exit. Just try to be consistent. 
We got room behind. I think Cave just got by Mitch. So we'll see if Cave is going to be catching up to us or not. Apparently he's got some speed at the moment. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. These short tracks, man. So that's a lap car, Dylan up ahead. Fortunately, that is not Tracy. I don't know if we're uh, going to be able to catch him, but we do still have a lot of time. I hope this goes green. I'm feeling pretty good. Kind of making sure that I keep on the brakes long enough to keep it rotating through the center. Hopefully we'll be able to catch Dylan in a good spot. He's going to the bottom. Not sure where he's going. All right, there we go. He does a good job. Two point four to Tracy. It's been sticking there for a little while. Ooh, I'm sweating. This is tough. I'm trying to just be completely precise. Not a very good corner there. Losing my rhythm a little bit. It's tough being consistent for so long. It's unfortunate Shane decides to leave. It just got too loose on him, it sounded like. Very cool of him to make uh, the decision though, if he felt like he was going to wreck, to just pull it over. That was a very uh, polite move of him. Very respectful and I appreciate that. I'm sure everybody appreciates, uh, appreciates it, being able to do some green flag laps. And he's holding a bit tight, but we made it around. Tracy had to get around some lap traffic up ahead. We lost a little bit of time, but we're gonna have to make through, make through there as well. This is tough. We're under 50 to go. Cave is closing in on us a bit. He's pretty similar on pace, but he has caught just a tiny bit. I'm going to have to keep moving. I'm going to have to keep my eyes out up ahead, too, though, because we've got lap traffic fighting and sideways. We're not going to bring a caution out, okay? Caution. No, flag. okay. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Catch about 10. Car. Right, catch up to Tracy. Our lap car is going to keep their place in line. Maybe they do. So, on one hand, all right, we'll catch up to Tracy. On the other hand, Cabe catching up to us. So I did not expect it to get this loose. I got yeah. a right front warning. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tight up here. Mine's been kind of temperamental. Like it's getting loose on exit, but it's kind of tight on entry. I'm going to come down into the cool stuff. I'm at 
37.58? Wow, I hope we don't blow a tire. Assuming you meant the <laughs> tires. Watch your speed. One left to green. So we're gonna cut pretty hard down low, getting around lap cars. Pulling all this all you through here. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Wait on him. Almost gave myself a black flag there. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, uh, I tried to lift to make sure you didn't get one. Car outside, the next car's the leader. Clear Just outside on. if you want I forgot I was recording for a second, gonna be honest. I'm really trying to keep up with Tracy here, trying to figure out exactly how I wanna manage my tires. <laughs> Thankfully got around that lap traffic at the start. I wanted to get to the inside as soon as possible, but uh, I did not want to get a black flag either. You can get a black flag if you pass them before the start finish line, before the green comes out and stuff. Oh, I got loose there. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna ease on throttle again, or else we're gonna start getting sideways. Go hot. Hi. Oh, uh, got another one. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Excuse me, pace car. Pit Let that scare no Tracy. Open. <laughs> if you're not expecting it, it can scare you. Hmm. So now we won't have people to go by to, to pass. Man, that pace card booking it. You gotta catch the pace car. I don't really want to be heating up my tires right now. I want to cool my tires off. Oh, we gotta catch up. Come down here, cool them off. Pick up a bunch of debris too, probably, but is what it is. All right, two to green. Which good cautions are nice. I see Nick there in fifth place. I theorized he was back there playing very conservative, saving tires, and then show it was going to choose to make a run late. That could be what we're seeing right here. But uh, he's throwing his name into the conversation, that's for sure. One to go, Nick Tom by. Did hopefully get the best seat in the house watching the jump. I don't see a reason to go all the way up to the wall still. I'm not going to try to pass them, but I am uh, uh, That abnormal lap invalid scares me every time I keep thinking I'm getting contact. Got lap traffic already. It's Mitch. What's happening with him? This car looks really loose. He might be fighting an evil car right now. I'm just trying to keep it low on exit. Clear. 
Not diving it in. It's never gonna work. Yep. For some reason it sounds like Mitch is still out there. I don't I know he's not though, but it was throwing me off. Here. Oh, don't run into the back of him though. Go high. That was a fourteen point two. Oh, we gotta set something up. He's tight. I think we're faster right now. Oh, don't hit the brakes too hard and spin yourself. The lock time was fourteen point two. We gotta set something up here. We got 26 laps or so to do it. Pounding them. <laughs> Keeping it low, not overdriving. Don't let the uh, rear tires get too happy. They are getting slidey though. It's really hurting my exits. Oh man, he got in the wall ahead. I'm losing the handle on it a little bit. I want to try to stop sliding so much. Oh my gosh, it's getting sideways mid-corner. I've really got to do a job to keep this thing from spinning. I think maybe the track cooling down might be even affecting it. Nah, that should give you more grip, right? Is that how it works? I don't know. Kind of just keeping up. Not really catching him. I think he might actually be pulling away a little bit right now, which is unfortunate. Don't want that. But don't have to win either. Let's not forget that. Oh my gosh. This thing is getting way, way too sideways on entry now. Gotta ease up. I want to put my brake bias actually forward if I can. But it's going to be tough to do. I don't have the hands to do it. I can't. I can't do it. I don't have time. I'm going to mess myself up just trying to do that and it's going to offset any difference I make. So I just got to focus on driving this thing. I think I gotta hope that he loses some handle on it. You've just done a 14.3. Keep steady. The gap behind is now 0.6. Oh man, it's really hard to be, to be consistent right now. Just don't lose the handle on it and lose a good finish. Alright, Nick's coming. Oh my god. Dang it. I'm losing it, man. I'm losing the handle. Nick gets by us. Outside. Oh my gosh, Outside. it's wanting to kill me in the corner. Tend to go, Dick. 
If these two start battling now, maybe we'll be there. Oh my god, this thing. This thing is trying to kill me mid-corner. Yeah, I can't put any wheel in it or it's trying to spin. Oh, you watch my damn video. <laughs> it's funny because, wow, Nick just drove by him like it was nothing. This is the biggest dump truck I've driven in a while. Can we trade? Is <laughs> Tracy falling off hard? I just need to bring this thing home at this point. Wow. I think my right rear might be at like 10. I'm like just getting to the mic. Hold on third at least. Nick did it. Clear outside. got a land ready to blow on the left. Outside. Got that time to clear up. My right front's about to blow. I just got a meatball. Wow, we got meatballs. I just so much different stuff this thing. Tried to raise the front of it in the car. I just can't do it. And I would have been okay, but once I went a lot down, I... Yeah, yeah. I am sorry I'm not talking much. It has taken all my concentration not to spin this thing. I don't know what you all do with your setup. So I wish I knew how to. Oh, God. Clear. I just wish it was fixed and run it way in. I thought that sucks. It's like I can... Drive it oh, my God. I just ran mine as loose as I can Holy get smokes, it. man. <laughs> Not even gonna give it back, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Good race, good win. Nice run. Solid work. Wow. Okay. Yeah, good race, that was fun. Seven percent on the right. Seven. <laughs> Forty-five, eleven. That's a lot better than us. I was literally zero on the right rear. Wow. Zero fifty-three. <laughs> Forty-five, eleven. I would have been all right at the end, but like I said, once I went a lot down, that was it. 45 Sorry, I thought you gave me the inside. Yeah, I'm just going to give you the inside on the last lap. Insane. No. <laughs> that was... That was an unfortunate end to it, but we lose just one spot, I guess. That was our one 4X, but... Whatever. Congrats on your P4, dude. Whatever. Uh, Nick gets the win. In his own race, that's pretty awesome. What did I tell you? It, he was saving tires that whole freaking time, <laughs> and it paid off. He saved all his tires. He probably actually had reasonable numbers, and then just blew by everybody. That's something to add to the memory banks for next time, because, wow. He just blew past Tracy at the end there, and I was just on ice skates. Fifty one, fifty one, that's crazy.
That's amazing. So running the same setup, Nick had 51-51. He did a fantastic job saving those. To be able to get 51-51 when I had 45-11? I mean, look how we had 45-11 and then 60% on the left rear, too. That's crazy. Cam, 7-2-3 on the right rear. So he's looking at the numbers left to right. See, so yeah, he had it even worse than we did. You could see that. Allen, I think, probably did a better job saving tire as well. Because he made it past us pretty good. Ian had better tires too, but he decided to just run us over. Because I left him the inside. I rolled out the red carpet on the final corner, I guess. But whatever. We'll go ahead and uh, check out everything that happened. Yeah, that's going to be something really important to remember next time. Like, even early on, I was, like, trying to be easy on the throttle, too. I wasn't doing the greatest job at it, but... Oh, yeah, there's that moment where uh, Mitch kind of came... I mean, yeah, that's fair. I guess I just didn't realize... Yeah. So, I wasn't there. I was just too wide. And so I was laying down. And then he just bre he has to break earlier than me. So I was upset with him at the time. But no, that was that was fine. That was just a set of circumstances that kind of led to that. I'm glad I was able to slow it down. Hey, that's cool. Kenny hung out and watched the rest of it. Would have been cool to have him in there too. He he definitely would have been mixing it up from the start would have been a contender so okay properly looking at the incidents we are lap eight right now and i think chad's just gonna grab some wall it looks like that's about it and gavin hit the wall a time or two nothing too serious When he just gets too much apron, tries to gather it up, but someone else was behind him. And so he just does a pirouette, and that'll bring out the caution. That must have been our first caution, if I had to guess. So getting it going here. It's the wall tap. Uh, Spencer just gets on that apron. Kind of like that transition, it just kind of turns him. He gets it going, but still yellow. Mitch and P2. Just getting some wall. Pretty great event overall. We had a couple of cautions, but not nearly as much as you'd sometimes get short track racing. I think everybody did a pretty good job overall. Up traffic was pretty good. Getting out of the way. <laughs> Chad's Fitbit just told him great workout. <laughs> if I had a Fitbit, I bet it would be just telling me the same thing. It's getting some wall hits. That's most of what we've gotten. Not sure what we're seeing. There's Mitch getting loose. I think this is when he goes high. Yeah. He just got loose, so he decided to give it to us. I got a little bit loose there, but gathered it up. All the way to lap 90, we are cruising along. I think we're just seeing some tires wear out at this point.
Any cautions that were missing, I'm sure, were just some spins. Because uh, the only way I could see them not showing up in the incidents is if they were just a bit of a spin that actually didn't have any contact. So not much to miss there. Is Gavin getting really loose up ahead? You can see all the tire tracks all over the place. There's me he's probably sliding around. Just people drifting through these corners. Lap 100. He's getting on that apron. Everybody just sliding around. It might have break the incidents here. So we've just seen a lot of sliding around at this point. So we'll move ahead a little bit more. Spencer on the brakes hard. These brakes are the strongest brakes in the, biz the business for some reason. So he's looking to go low. He's not there. He's looking about driving it in. But uh, Scott takes his normal line, which he had the right to do. Spencer just uh, gets on the brakes a little too hard and it pitches him sideways. I almost did that late in the race. I had to like turn my wheel almost all the way to the right to save that. I wonder if we'll see see when that was happening later. I really had to save it. We'll use an apron. Probably just trying to do everything they can to get this car around the track safely this point. Ooh, we got some... Man, Mitch was... He was driving on ice. Look at that. That is a dirt late model right there. That's what that is. This is not a paved late model. That is a dirt late model. He's straight up drifting it through the corners. That's incredible. Oh, and he can't hold on to it. Was he a caution? I guess, see our final caution? Yep, there's the caution right there. Coming out. I believe that was our final caution. Mitch pulls it into the pits. Maybe getting damage fixed or something. Well, it looks like we, uh, we had a chance to win it for a moment. At least we got to Tracy and... Even for a second thought, maybe I had a chance at him, but then the handling just went off a cliff. And uh, I was content with losing, like, one spot. You know, Nick just warp drive past us. But I was kind of, like, losing the spot to Alan after I made a big mistake, and then we just kind of got ran into. We are coming to the close of this thing, though. You see guys just uh, maneuvering around traffic. Is this where I had my moment? Every lap was a moment for me at this point, but not quite yet. It was later in the race, I think. You see guys like Nick just powering forward. And I'm getting a tiny bit of wall. Where did Gavin end up finishing? He still gets himself a top 10, finishing 9th. So, with how evil that thing was, sounds like, it's not a very bad finish at all. Chad letting the leaders by, Nick on his way to catch Tracy. There's me behind him, trying to keep up, but I didn't have much left. Scott getting sideways. Cabe's nearing 0% at this point. That's amazing. You can just see he's got no grip. It's like he's on a pivot. What, are you going to give him a bump draft mid-corner? Nothing comes of it. And we just get run into. I don't believe him. I mean, 
thought you get I thought you were gonna give me the inside. I don't know about that. I think he wanted the spot. He's just dumping me for. <laughs> He's dumping me for fourth. Like you're not there. I don't know. Was he there? Maybe he was there. Nope, not there. He's running into me. It's okay. I mean, just lost one spot. We were able to save it. But uh, no remorse, he takes his well-earned spot, I guess. We'll finish fifth, still top five, not going to complain about that. I mean, you get 40-plus people signed up. <laughs> There's Gavin, that's why I looked like every corner, late in the race. But uh, you take 40-plus people and you get a top five, I'm not going to complain about that. I want to go see that big slide I had that let Alan get by us. Like, look at this. I am so lucky to even... Uh, save this thing. Keep an eye on this wheel down here. <laughs> I had it turned all the way down to 6 o'clock. See, what happened was, I got on the brakes just a touch too hard. Right there, just a tiny bit too hard, and it pitched it sideways because there's no grip in the rears anymore. Very uh, appreciative to Alan here. He saw me getting sideways. He got it low. Gave me room to catch it. And then uh, we had two to go. I don't know. Am I looking like I'm... I mean, I take... I was going to say, I am I looking like I'm leaving the bottom open? I know I'm getting sideways. He definitely has a better car at this point. I mean, I take the corner the same way every time. Start up high, trying to take it as straight as possible. Shouldn't have been any surprise, I don't think. I guess maybe I should have uh, been defensive. I don't like blocking. I try to avoid blocking, if at all possible, because I hate doing that. And I hate when it happens to me. Just kind of dumps me. But that'll do it. Gavin takes his spin. And we'll get a top five. Nick gets the win. Congrats to him, of course. He's always a threat on the short tracks. Just as Tracy is and pretty much everybody in this race. And those heats really brought uh, the heat. <laughs> when it comes to the those who signed up, got some great racers. And uh, to pull in P5 feels pretty good. So... Thank you for watching. That will be race number one of this K5 season three. We've got more coming up next week. I believe it's Oxford Plains. And uh, we'll be fighting in those uh, points, trying to get ourselves uh, another good finish. I don't know if we're going to win another championship. We've got some people that are better at the short tracks for sure. But uh, I'll give it my best shot. And uh, P5 is a great way to start it out. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you. And I hope to see you again next time. Have a good one.